Hi, I'm Linda from Barlady's Body Blitz and this is my fur baby mini. Welcome to Beginner's Mat Abs. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. If you want to intensify any of the moves, you can put on some light ankle weights, hold on to some light dumbbells, or even wear a resistance loop, perhaps just above the knees for some of the exercises. This is not a true beginner's workout, it's a Barlati's beginner's workout, so you will definitely still feel the burn. If you need to take a break at any time, please press pause and come back when you're ready. I will also try to show some easier modifications for some of the moves but you do not need to go at my pace. Just go at a pace that is challenging for you. Once you see the exercise, just really focus on form and you will eventually be able to keep up with me. Okay, so we're gonna get started right away, flowing all the way through. And as I said, if you need to take a break at any time, just do so. Right, we're going to bring the front leg in line with your mat and the back leg is just gonna be comfortably out to the side, approximately in line with the hip or slightly in front. And all we're doing is putting our hands by our ears and we're going to bend directly to the side and then we're going to bring our leg up and touch. So it's down, then hold everything in and touch. Really trying to bend directly down towards the side, not leaning forward or back. And when you're bringing your leg out, you really want to keep your kneecap to the front of the room. You're squeezing down on that oblique muffin top area, squeeze and squeeze. So try to touch down, if you can, every time. Your arm to your thigh, your elbow to your leg, every time. Down and down. You will feel this in your hips, in your outer thighs, in your outer glutes. So it's definitely going to give you some bonus lower body work. I want you to blow out as you lean and as you reach. A few more like this. And now let's go for three. Down and down. Two and out. Last one and out. Now just keep your leg on the ground. We're going to reach across the body and chop to the back. So it's up tall, stretching. And as you reach to the back, I want you to blow all the air out and really sweep past your foot, sweeping to the back. It's like you're chopping through the air, wringing out your waistline. So the further you reach to the back, the better it is. Reach. Really hold your tummy in tight. That is really the key to making sure you're engaging more muscle groups. A few more like this. Reach up tall. This is dynamic stretching as well. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come back down, stay in line with your knee and just sweep to the back. It's back and back. So it's more like a pulse. In that hardest part of the move, you're just squeezing, squeezing, twisting, twisting, back, back. Hold everything in tightly. It's like you're wringing out a washcloth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Just leaning over and stretching that. Now we're going to do that to the other side. So exactly the same thing. Line up your shin with the front of your mat and your other leg is in line with your hip or slightly in front. Starting with your hands by your ears, you're coming down and then you're reaching. Now if this reach is just putting you off balance, you can do this with one hand on the mat. Okay, so you can lean and support yourself. But if you are able to do it, floating your leg, it actually means you're using a lot more muscles in your entire core to help stabilize your body. So remember we're trying to keep our kneecap to the front of the room. And if I'm going too fast, you can slow it down. Reach. 
all the way to the side, touching each time if you can. But if you're finding it too hard, then just come to here and just reach out. You've got options there and reach. Blowing out as you extend, blowing out as you tap. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Now put your leg down, arms overhead, and you're sweeping to the back, sweeping. So I want you to lean slightly down, really chopping through the air, reaching up high and tall, and then down, down. Remember to hold your belly button in and really sweep to the back, twisting through the waist. The arms are helping you to twist even further back. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now coming back down, try to keep your arm in line with your knee and push to the back. Pulse, pulse, twisting, twisting and twisting. This is a much smaller move, but you need to focus so your arms are going down and back, down and back. Your back hand should be past that foot. Back and back, back and back. Come on, a few more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Reaching over, releasing that. Okay, we're going to come down onto our backs and we're going to place our hands by our ears again, but I don't want you to pull on your neck. I want you to think about pulling your belly button in Breathing out, making sure there's no hollow between your back and the mat and bringing your shoulders up. Now I'm going to stay in this position, but if you at any time find that it's just too much for you, you can lie your head all the way down. I'm going to hold it here and all I'm doing is just bringing my knees in, in and in. So this is the first level, in and in. So as you lift your leg, I want you to think about blowing out and keeping your belly super flat. Think about using your lower abs to lift that leg. In and in, in and in. Once we've got a bit of a flow happening with this, I want you to start extending the leg at the top. So it's extend and bend. Trying to increase the levers, but doing this in a very controlled way. And I've still got my shoulders off the mat, which means I'm engaging my upper abs, okay? In and in. A few more like this. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to straighten the bottom leg and just kick up your legs in a straight manner. So this one's a bit tougher and if you're finding it too hard, you can go back to bending your legs. But if you can do this with a straight leg, it is definitely fantastic for your lower abs. So still focusing on not having a gap there. You're doing that, right? A few more like this. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now bring your knees in and we're going to use our upper body now. Bring them up and all we're doing is reaching across and across. So I'm starting from that same point where my shoulders are ready off the mat. And then I'm just reaching across and across. Now, if this is too hard, just go like this. 
okay don't hold those legs up across and across but if you can hold them a parallel and reach past that knee across and across you should feel a nice burn there and if you're finding it too tough take a break for a second and come back to it across and across blowing out as you reach a few more like this go for eight seven six five four three two and one nice job now lying all the way down i want you to bring your knees towards the front okay you might not be able to bring them all the way together you might have them open like this but if you can keep them towards the front put your hands back by your ears and all we're doing is a little crunch up 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 if you find it easier to keep the top leg extended you can but i like to just keep my feet together and it's a tiny little crunch your chest is upwards you're not going out like this it's up to the ceiling up just tiny little crunches up blowing all the air out as you come up and remember not pulling on your neck really trying to use your upper abs and your obliques six five four three two and one and now we're going to extend that leg on an angle and we're going to bring the knee in and out and we're just doing a tiny little up with the chest in and out in and out you're really trying to keep your chest up to the ceiling here that's the key and your leg is at 45 degree angle and you're coming in with the knee and out if you can't do this then just lie your chest on the ground and just use your leg like this okay you can even put your head all the way down in and out but if you can bring your uppers to your lowers go for six five four three two and one now last thing i want you to put your head and shoulders down and we're just going to have our arm to the side and we're going to bring our arm and our leg together so it's coming down in line with the knee and you're bringing your arm up and your leg up in line with your chest slightly towards you and you're blowing out and you're squeezing and you should feel a bit of a squeeze here so really make that a deliberate together you need to make contact there with your arm and your leg squeeze you should feel a bit of upper back as well and your upper back is part of your core so all of it is working eight seven six five four three two and one nice job now we're going to do the same thing to the other side so we're going to lie down with our back on the mat our chest is to the ceiling and we're going to lift up your knees are on an angle and you're just going to pulse up and down so you're actually starting with your shoulders slightly off the mat already and then crunching up from there it's up and down up and down blowing out on the up up remember don't pull on your head just have your fingertips behind your head to support but not to pull up up breathing out on the up a few more like this keep going Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring your leg on the angle about 45 degrees and we're going to bring your knee in as you come 
up with your chest. So it's in towards your chest, but you're still coming directly up to the ceiling. Your legs on an angle, but your body is going straight up and down. In, in, and remember your options. If you can't do this, just do the leg, or maybe just do the uppers. Blowing out on the in. Keep your neck away, so your chin away from your neck, as if you've got a tennis ball there. You don't want to be scrunching your neck. You want to keep it long. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bring our arm diagonally to the side. You can lie all the way down if you like and come down with the leg all the way in line with the other knee and, and up. So you're coming together crunching. If you want to stay up like this, you can, and that's going to engage your upper abs even more. And really think about pushing your arm towards that leg, creating your own resistance. In. In. Breathing out as they come together. Squeeze. Squeeze, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Coming up, we're going to sit on our butt and we're going to have our legs in front of us. And I want you to make like a diamond shape with your legs so that your soles of your feet are together. Now, blow all the air out of your belly and C curve back. So there should be a rounding here. You can have your hands behind you and that's going to help support you. Or if you want more, you can keep your hands up and try to just hold yourself there using your core. So if your hands are behind, this is what it's going to look like. Just up and up, up, and up. If you want your hands in front, you can just leave them rounded in front, in line with your legs, and just bring those toes up and up. Now, the more you lean back here and round your chest forward, the more you're going to feel this. Up and up. Nice and easy, contracting everything. You really need to think about contracting your entire core here in order to make this effective. Up and up. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to come up, extend up and down. So if you're down here, up, extend up a little and down. Up, extend up a little and down. Up, extend up a little and down. If you want to use your hands, up, extend up a little and down. Hold your belly button into your spine and down. Up, extend to the side and down. So bringing that leg out to the side, yes, you're using a bit of inner thigh here, but you're also using your obliques and your lower abs. Extend to the side and down. Up, extend to the side and down. Let's go for a few more. And down. How about four more? Extend to the side and down. Up, out, and down. Two more. Up, out, and down. Last one. Up, out, and down. Nice job. Just bring your knees together. Come up. Deep breath in, we're not quite done in this position, but this time we're keeping our legs together. So breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth, rounding back. Now you've got an option here to hold on with your hands and really round back here. Or if you want to, once again, take your hands off. And what I want you to do is blow all the air out and pulse back, back. So every time, every time you blow, you're pushing your spine 
into more of a C curve, back, back, back. So this is what it looks like if you don't use your hands, back, back, a few more like this. And then we're going to start lifting our legs as we do this. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, one. So we're going to start pulsing and alternating our legs. Now this is a lot harder. So here's your option, back. And if you can't do this, sit up really tall and don't do the C curve. Back, 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 or back, back, back. So every time you kick your leg up, you are going back into that C shape. Back, back, a few more like this. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up, releasing that, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Now what I want you to do is come all the way down and come onto your elbows. Okay, so everyone's on their elbows and we're just going to do a few more lower abs. If this is really too tough for you up here, you can lie all the way down and do this lying on your back. But if you can, stay up here and we're going to do a single leg bicycle. So we're coming in, out and up. In, extend and up, okay? So hold everything in and really extend that leg out and up. In, out and up, out and up. Now, if you want a little bit more, I want you to reach your other arm out, the opposite arm, okay? So now all you're doing is balancing on the front elbow and the back leg. So it's tougher, right? Out and up. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, come down, doing exactly the same thing. In, out and up, in, out and up. So other leg. Try to make it a huge circle all the way out, bringing that up. And if this is too tough in itself, try just to keep your knee a little bit more bent like this. Okay, you don't have to come all the way. The lower you go with your leg towards the mat on the out, the more you're gonna feel this, out and up. Now, if you want to, balance yourself, hold everything in, and then extend the front arm. This makes it a lot harder. So I understand if you can't do this. You can slow it down a bit. A few more like this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Oh, I've got my mat back. Okay, last little bit. Lie all the way down and we're going to continue those bicycles, but just keep them a little bit higher. So around and around, extend those legs, hold everything in. And if you want to, you can raise your shoulders up again to include your upper abs, knowing that this is one of the last couple of exercises. Around and around. Long extensions if you can, or keep it little if you can't. But if you can, try to make big, big circles with those legs. A few more like this, and then we're going to reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, can you reverse it? It's a little bit more awkward. Around and up. Around and up. So, tummy's pulled in. And if you can keep your shoulders up, but don't pull on your head. Around and up. Keep it smaller if you're finding it too tough. Just keep breathing. Around and around. And you can slow it down. If it's too fast, a few more like this. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. And now I promise you this is the very last exercise. Your legs are in an L position and we're going to come down to the side, up to the middle, down to the back, up to the middle. If this is too tough, then just stay up here, center, here, center. Okay, you don't have to come all the way down. Or you can maybe just go down with one leg, center, other leg, center. So you've got choices here. If you want to intensify it, put one hand behind your head and keep your upper chest slightly off the mat, side to side. And if you are more advanced, you can extend your legs a little bit more. Maybe don't come down as far, keep them a bit less bent and that will make it a lot tougher. Slow it down if you need to. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Put your feet on the mat and we're just going to release that by stretching up, <sighs> releasing all of that by pushing our hips up to the ceiling. Trying to stretch all of that out again after all those contractions. Feels really nice. And then while we're down here, extend the front leg and just bring the top knee across and bring your back arm out to the side. If you want to look at that back hand, you can. Just stretching out through the side body. And then the same thing on the other side. Extend the back leg and bring your knee across. You might not be able to twist quite as far on one of the sides. And then we're going to roll up. So just put your hands behind your knees, roll it up. And we're just going to extend our legs and breathe in and fall forward. Round your spine. We're stretching our hamstrings at the same time. And then roll it up, roll your shoulders back and do the same thing again, fall forward. And then roll it up, roll the shoulders back. We're going to lie down on our tummy, put your hands by your chest, breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth and extend slightly up. You don't need to come all the way up. I'm just stretching the front of my abs even more. Come down, breathe in again, breathe out and up again. You might be able to straighten a little bit more this time. And then just come up into a cat cow and blow out all the air spine to ceiling. And release and look up. One more time, all the way up and release. And then we're just going to sit down cross-legged and just stretch it across and stretch across and then stretch to the front and stretch to the front. And just because we used our shoulders a little bit, interlace and just pull up at the back. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my beginner's mat abs workout. I hope you still felt that burn and I'll see you at the next segment.